Okay then, so that's where I think we are for round three. And the, the staff that have come out have caught my eye. So the apprentice here, every two decorations is a point whenever you play that card. Uh, this lets you use a bonus of a card from your deck. Uh, this gives you a five discount on decorations. Well, gives you an extra decorations action with a five discount. So I'm leaning towards, and this gets you a money for every decoration you've put out. If I could hire twice, I think I can only get one. Oh, I can have two masters, actually. If I don't... If I don't have these out, I can have two masters and then still another one for the round in the future. I... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to think about hiring this round. I've picked my three already. So... Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards, because... Yeah, I could get some good decorations out here, and I'm actually pretty free to do decorations because Madame Dubarry hasn't done anything about it. And I am first for a change. I'm going to hire. I'm going to hire. So it's going to cost five for the first hire of the round. I think this... I don't know. I want both of them because I want... I want cheap decorations, but I also want another master. Cheap decorations most important to me right now, I think. So that cost me my five, and that's all done. Madame Du Barry is going to make a dress. She's going to make the cheapest dress. It's going to be this one. Oh, a five-pointer. That's a fancy dress one. And no, I don't have pink and red. I couldn't have done that. No, we don't see that one yet. Uh, it goes in the bottom left. She's really going for <laughs> that particular haul. So she goes for one with a bonus on it, most of all. So I think we can say she's she sealed those four points. And... Back over to me. I want to hire again. So it's going to cost three this time. I'm going to hire this master that will reward me for having done decorations. Madame Du Barry is going to hire a staff member, the first from the left. And a new card comes on here. So now we have to think about money. Because if I want this, yeah, if I want to put this in a ring out, if I want to do the red dress, which I do have the materials for, I could do the red dress and get a ring for four and be in almost all of the halls. But I would have five left to try and do decorations with later. Now, I still need to get lace or thread with an apprentice. It would be nice, though, if it was made a little bit cheaper later, because I'm not going to get to do that and the exam this turn, so it'll have to be next round I do that. It doesn't have to be a master doing this, so I could just do it with a journeyman. Yeah, I'm going to go for making this, so it's going to be the red from there, so the blue is just lost, you don't get any change. And I'm going to get the cheapest ring. doesn't match colour, so I can have it because it's the right... Um, the right kind matching for the coat but I don't get a free resource so that cost me two and then four for the jewelry so six altogether now because I didn't use a master I can't put it in a thimble space but that's actually not the worst thing because in a non thimble space I could grab I could even grab some more Ooh, I don't think I'll have the money but I could get I wouldn't have the money for some jewellery, but I could do this. Pink and blue, I have a lace left over. Let's go for that. So I'm going to get a resource and be present in this hall. I'm going to go for the pink and blue. And then I can fund a decoration with a five discount. Now this is going to be expensive and probably means I'm not going to be able to get any more jewellery. This would be very cheap. This would only cost me one with the discount. But it would only get me two more. I'd have a decoration here and then one in jewellery. Whereas I already have four dresses out and I'm looking to get a fifth out this round. So it would kind of pay for itself. More and more in future rounds, but you get more decorations out. I could, I could afford this pink and some jewellery if I deputed this apprentice. Which I might do, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go for 
the cheap decoration so far. So with a five discount, that just cost me one. So I'm in there in the cheap seats. Okay, that was uh, her bonus. So Madame Du Barry goes next. She's getting some resources and it's gonna be all the resources from the rightmost drawer. So it is a bit of a risk because this might get taken, but I'm going to depute this apprentice. So gone from the game, but with the bonus, I'm going to get, hmm, I am about to spend a lace. So maybe I just get, so do I want two lace or do I want a lace and a thread? Actually, I get four from being deputed. Yeah, I can still afford it all. I just will have no money left over this round. Let's go for, I'm going to regret either decision on time. I'm going to go for two lace. And I used an apprentice to get some lace. So there we go. All the actions are done. So in the future now, I can use an apprentice to take the examination. It costs five money. You get a point, And then you basically lose that apprentice. You get to use his bonus one more time. And then you get to pick from this stack of journeyman cards. Madame Du Barry is going to grab all the resources from the middle drawer. And so I'm going to use my master to build this. So it's going to be lace and the blue and the pink. And because it's a master, I can put it in a thimble space. This will be all of the halls, won't it? So there we go. I get my six points for being in all of the halls first. And I just have four, five, six. Yep, I just have enough to grab this ring. Which gets me a random piece from the bag. It's a red or I can discard it for a thread. Now if red comes out, it's going to be very expensive, isn't it? I'm going to... Now I'm going to keep hold of it. There might be a really good red coming out later. The one I've got was worth four points, so yeah, let's go for it. And I get a money for each decoration, so that would be two. Madame Du Barry is going to hire a staff member, so she gets to do something else. Hire a staff member, she can't, so she gets three more points. So she's on nine, big reach. And there we are at the end of the round then. So nobody took the Queen's favor, so I will stay first player, which is a plus. Uh, I'm gonna do all of the stuff to prepare for a new round. Okay then, so for picking my hand, that's already decided for me because I've got three cards left. So we can start quickly then, can't we? Uh, which staff members are on display right now? So the there are two out that reward you based on how many cards are in your deck. The apprentice gives you more money because you know it's not, uh, not as useful, can't be used on as many actions. My apprentice, I want to do the thing with... Oh, I haven't done income, have I? So my income is five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I thought I should probably have some money. So yeah, I can do my exam. So how many cards do I have? One, two, three, four. So I only have seven cards. That would get me, you know, six money every time I played that apprentice, though. Or three for this, and it's another master. I should have a deck full of masters. Uh, a point for every three dresses you've made. And when you play this, two points for every pink, a point for every red that you've put out. So I would get... I've got two reds out and a pink. I would like the master though. I'm going to go for that first. I can still afford the exam if I do that. So it's just my base master is going in there. Base master. <laughs> I'm going to get the low stakes money master. Oh, do I have eight cards now? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So it's a shame because if I, well, actually, if I use this to hire the apprentice, then I will have nine cards. And I'll get 10 money for playing this apprentice. Oh, Madame Du Barry, don't hire anyone. What is she doing? She is getting resources. One from the left of every drawer. It's a, it's a point and a half for her, but she made everything cheaper. I, however, am hiring, and it costs three to hire. I'm getting three money, so I'm just going to call that even. I don't have a master, though, for doing a dress. That's only There's only one dress out there, though. But this gets you the queen's favor when you make this dress. Uh, but, yeah, I, I would have to get a load of resources and stuff. Haven't got time to be dealing with that. I'm going to hire this apprentice. So suddenly, after not hiring anyone for ages, now I'm in every hall. I'm like, yeah, we can, we can ease up on the dressmaking a little bit. Uh, Madame Du Barry is going to... Is this... <laughs> this is breaking news, everyone. The first decoration is going to be funded. If you're playing with the jewellery box expansion, her first decoration will go into the jewellery. Goes in the least expensive space. There we go. 
So she is now eligible to get jewellery from dresses. So she's even more dangerous than once she was. Okay, so I don't want to lose... Oh, I've got five money hanging about there. We, I don't want to lose my money apprentice. I'm, I'm happier training this apprentice because you lose the one you do the exam with. I'm going to do the exam. It costs five. And you get the bonus one last time. Uh, so I get two back. So to be eligible to do the exam, you have to have your disc in this start area and you have to have done all of the tasks to be eligible for it. So I am allowed. I get my first point. My journeyman has been deputed and we can look at this stack. So this, I think the jewelry box, did it come with 11 of these, uh, these journeymen? Well, I think there's 11 altogether. I think it came with nine new ones because there's two in the base box. Basically what you do is there are two level two journeymen in the game normally. You take them out of the standard deck, shuffle them all up with these. So here are the original two from the base game. You can see the numbers are different. Uh, you shuffle them all up and then you put two random ones into the main stack and then the rest are all available for training. So I'm going to need my cheat sheet for what all of them do. So this is pick a hall, get a point for every two garments you have in that hall. Mm, I'm not as fussed about that. Make a garment as a bonus action, but you must sell the garment. You can't hire it out and put it into the halls and you get a point for doing it. Uh, every two decorations gets you three money. Uh, this is, is this a money for every hall that you are in? Yes, every hall in which you are presented. Uh, make a garment, have a discount of a pink or blue resource. Ooh, I like, I like that's, that's just five money as a bonus, but this is already three. And with a couple of decorations, that could be more. Uh, for every three jewelry, get a point. I'm at five right now. Uh, this is, as a bonus, depute another employee and get this amount of money instead of what's on them. So a bit less money, and you don't get to use their bonus again, but it's a way of you know, thinning out your deck because you want to get to your best cards as quickly as possible. Uh, this is copy the bonus of someone else. They're probably not good in a solo game, actually. And three money for every two pink or red. I do have two pink. I think... Think I'm gonna get more jewelry. I'm gonna do more decorations, but just being able to make garments with a discount, I'm going for that. So that goes into my hand now. So another way of getting bonus actions is by doing the examinations. Then all of these discs come back to me, and my marker now goes up into the master examination area. So whenever I use a journeyman to make particular colors of dresses, I can put a disc in there. And whenever I use a master to make any dress, I can put a disc in there. Then I can do the same thing with one of my journeymen. Pay money, send it off, and get my pick of all of these masters. This reminds me actually, Madame Du Barry has been putting things out here the whole time. And she just funded a decoration before I had a go. So she does the examination automatically as soon as these things are met. So she randomly removes an apprentice from her deck and then she takes a random journeyman. So I'm going to have to put this back in and shuffle it up. And so the one that she takes is uh, going to be, oh, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to see that, but it's going in a deck. And so I can have the, the dressmaking one. It's a bit of luck, but there were a few that I was after, so it's okay. And so just as if she'd hired, she's going to get an extra turn. And all her discs come off and she comes up here as well. And so the same thing, when she makes dresses, she is going to get tokens in there. Her action is going to be to grab resources. So she takes these away. She's got a lot of resources. And then what? It's over to me. And I could get resources and then just make a dress. I could get a double pink and then make this triple pink. But... It doesn't score you any points at the end of the game. It scores you points now. I have made two blue dresses, so it'd be worth two points to me. But could I do something more effective? Now, I only get a discount of a pink or a blue. There is no way of getting green now. Madame Dubar has just taken all of that away, so we can ignore these ones. So unless we want to pay a lot of money... I could, of course, get the resources and then use my apprentice to get me 10 money. Is that right that I've got that, that many cards I think I've got? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Yes, I've got nine cards, so I would get ten money for playing this. So I could work at getting some extra resources, so that all the blues involve getting... Yeah, we can build up some resources for later, can't we? I think this is just going to be the best thing to do right now. And we can always... We do want to make stuff with our journey as well. Could I make two dresses if I got the resources to do it? Let's just, with him, we will just buy this. So it's going to be one, because there's only two things in this drawer. And then with his bonus action, we can make the dress with a discount. I need to pay a thread. And unfortunately, yeah, you need to make something something female. I should have gone for those uh, green things. Just knowing they were all bunched together like that. But hey, so that goes away. And I'm making this dress. It's not made by a master, so can't go on those spaces. So which... Which bonuses are available? We have two money. We have one money. We have three money. And a lace. I'm going to go for three money. I can't buy jewellery because for some reason the gentleman won't wear a necklace. And so that's going away. And that's my turn, isn't it? Madame Du Barry is getting resources again. She's getting the middle ones. So yeah, not making a dress again this time. Uh, oh, we do need to, though. I, I just made a... What colour dress was it? I made a pink dress. So that gets me a disc over there. Unfortunately, not going to be able to make another, but we can make some decorations and stuff, can't we? Do I want to do that? It's an action, but it's, it's not going to cost me any money. There are going to be plenty of blues up for grabs. If I get my pink disc out again, I could make this dress. Well, there's going to be nine more tiles out next round. I think well, we could fund two decorations. We could fund a decoration and then I'm getting 10 money. How much money have I got right now? Two, four, six, eight. So could I afford something for eight and then, and then do this one that's going to cost me nine? What a cheap decoration. The musicians are all quite expensive. They're worth some good points. These here, I don't know if I explained these, so... Getting a decoration in here means for each one, you can be in here multiple times. You get the points underneath, of course, but then you get two points for every different color of dress you have out rented out in the halls. But each dress can only be used once for a set. So you couldn't just put three statues out and then have one of each color and get all of the points, get eight points for each of them. You have to, you would have to have three full color sets to do that. Uh, that is 20 though, so that's way out of my league for now. We could, of course, depute him for seven, get his bonus one last time. But yeah, I don't want to have fewer cards, do I? I want the more money. I think first, first we'll get this for free with the action and then get 10 money. I could always discard it for a thread, which I don't have, but I can get a thread from him. Never mind. Madame Du Barry is going to take the Queen's favour, which I foolishly left there. I should have uh, maybe just taken that rather than the resource. Uh, and so that gets her three points. And then I'm going to fund a decoration. I'm going to do a, a money for every dress that you've got out there. And then I pay a money for... I haven't got a thread, so let's have a thread. Madame Du Barry hasn't got any cards, so that is the end of round four. I'll set up for five. Okay, here we are for round five, and oh dear. Uh, because Madame Du Barry didn't... I don't think she made any dresses last round, so the dress display didn't really get shuffled through that much. Even though we got nine new tiles out here, only one has green on. And look at all of these dresses that need green, and all of that jewellery is green. So that could be important to get. But there is, you know, there's this blue and pink right here that could be a good option. Uh, oh, and getting the Queen's favourite dress is still there, but that would need... Yeah, you know, I haven't got a pink or a green, so I'd have to do two actions. Anyway, let's uh, let's not worry about that yet. I need to pick my cards, don't I? So I have the full choice, the full spectrum of cards. I, I'm going to take my master that gets me money. Maybe it would be worth deputing masters. Just so you can keep having the one that gets your money coming out. And maybe we bring out a couple of masters. I'll bring out the one that gets me money for the decorations, because I've got a lot of decorations. And then, do I take the journeyman that's going to get me a discount on decorations? I think so. We haven't had income, have we? Again. 
So that's who I'm taking, because I would like to do a dress maybe with the journeyman. So it's another of my tasks done. So my income is loads now, isn't it? So it's 5, 10. Every decoration, 11, 12, 13. And then every dress, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, here is where the fireworks start coming in. Uh, Madame Dubarry, though, has taken first place back from me, well, first player, and she's keeping it for this round and getting her three points. This does leave me free to get a staff member. If I got a couple of staff members and waited to play this, I could maybe get seven money. So I'll use, and if I waited and got a decoration, then I could get more money from this, but I've got three decorations right now, so he's going to get me three money. It's going to cost me five to hire, so... I am tempted to just buy the master so I can hire again. Ooh. Look at that journeyman, though. That journeyman is a two green discount. You could just... You could just do that dress straight away. And I do need to do a green, and it would get you the jewellery and everything. Maybe we're not going to get the deck as big as possible, but a money for every dress that you've made. Now, I'm going I'm to take that journeyman for now and hope that he's still there, because I'm just missing out on a couple of money from not making the most out of uh, that. Okay, Madame Dubarry is going to hire a staff member, the leftmost one. Go for it. Uh, and so I'm going to do my master and hire this master, which costs one. So that is a bargain. And I get five money because my deck size was uh, ten, I think when I took that. It was definitely at least nine, because it was nine when we came into the round. And now we can think about doing stuff with them. Madame Dubarry is going to hire again, so that's not an option anymore. And it's going to get another turn. So how do we get resources enough to be able to make a lot of different dresses? Well, we can make this for free. Basically, let's use this journeyman to get resources, and then she can make the dress for free. And then we could do the exam this round. Although I probably want to wait and use like one of my base, my base journeyman maybe to do the exam next turn. If I could get a master this turn and start doing stuff. What do I do? I don't want to give up the five discount on things or two discount on that. Do I? I don't know. If I want to be able to make more stuff though, why don't we go for the blue and pink? to make this. Because so we haven't got pink and green to do this. Oh, we go for the blue, pink, and red. That's Surely that's uh, more options than anything. Uh, so that's cost two, because it was a full draw. And then we will make a dress with a two green discount. So we'll just make this for free. I could get 14 money. Or do we just keep hiring things out? I've got quite a nice economy from <laughs> all of these dresses everywhere. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to hire it out. So I, I am, though, going to pay four so that I can get a nice piece of green jewellery, which gets me a random resource from the bag. Wow. Look at that. That's cost of fortune right now. I could wait until next round, or I could just make that this round. I wouldn't get the queen's favour, though. I would get five money. You get five money either way from making this dress, but I wouldn't get the queen's favour. So that's all happening. We need a disc on the make a green dress task. And then we need to choose where this dress is going. So it can, I can get a lace or one money or two money. Here it's not as exciting because I could compete, but no, um, Madame Dubarry would win because uh, she's got two on the thimble spaces already. So that's not worth going in, I don't think. So we could get two money from here, or we could start competing, which I think is what I'm going to do. If I get one money, start competing for the big six-point prize. Madame Dubarry is going to make a dress, uh, the Queen's Favour one, actually. So one, two, she's making the Queen's Favour dress, and it's going in the bottom right, and she's going to do jewellery as well. So it goes in the thimble space, so I'd need to worry about this. This is a five-point... Place. And actually, there's this thread here. But either, oh yeah, I couldn't have known that. That's six points. And then she's also going to take the cheapest piece of jewellery that is allowed for that garment. There is another type where she will, like this here, if it was the 
the back of the jewelry symbol. That means she would take a color matching the garment color. Here she will take the cheapest piece that she is allowed to take. So she just made, oh dear, what did she just make? She made pink, didn't she? I think, she, yeah, she, yeah, there's the queen's favorite thing. She just made a pink. So the cheapest thing she's allowed to get is a pink, unfortunately, which gets her a random resource tile from the bag. Okay. So now I've got loads of resources. Can I make things? I, I have a lot of money. If I want to do the fireworks, that's pretty much all of my money, though. I wouldn't want to pay just to hire some of these things out. I can. It, it seems a bit wasteful, but I could get this 15 money one. I could just make this one that's quite cheap. I've got a blue and a pink right there. I could do that for... That only cost me two. And I could get a green piece of jewellery. wouldn't match colour-wise, but it's something. Well, this one, and then I wouldn't need to pay the lace either. I could hang on to that for the future. Yeah, we, need, we want a master to do this, because that's the final task we need to do. We get a five disc out on the, on the um, decoration anyway. I'm going to go big, so I'm going to pay thread, and then it's pink, pink, green. Well, what's the point, though? It's, it's, it's no more money. Why am I doing that? Well, it's more money, but like you're paying more, so it kind of offsets it, and you might as well just do this one that didn't cost the thread and still gets you two points, and yeah. So costs, we're doing the master to make it. Two pinks. It's fine. I'm going to pay five for some jewellery. Oh no, pink, uh, pink isn't allowed jewellery, is it? So do we just get... We could get money from this. Jewellery isn't vital. Now let's, let's leave the jewellery for now. Yeah, we're just doing this. No jewellery. Shock horror. And then... Do we start competing in here? A master made it, so I could... Oh, yes, let's... Oh, I could put it in there. And then that's competing in, in that hall in a thimble space. But I could get some thread from here and start competing because we, we've got no idea where she's going to go. Or we could go up here just for the three points. No. Yeah, let's, let's compete in here so I get another thread. I am going to get the jewellery. It costs five. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Don't get any resources because the colour doesn't match. But then I get a money for every dress that I've made that's hired out. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight money. So yeah, shouldn't be worrying about cash at the moment. With the number of uh, employees I've got though, it's going to be a while before these come out again. Maybe if ever, there's only two more rounds after this. Uh, Madame Du Barry is going to make a dress, the leftmost one. So there it is. And where's it going? Bottom left. She loves that bottom left hall. Uh, so we'll take the space with the bonus in it. Don't worry, Madame, I'm not even thinking about going there. She isn't even in all of the halls yet. What's she doing? Do I have one thing left? I could do the exam. And I would just get one more use from the journeyman. It could be worth doing. How many times is this going to come out again? Yeah, I'm going to do the exam. So it costs five to do the exam. I get one point. I get to do the bonus one last time. I'm going to go for... It's going to cost me 17 money with a 5 discount. I'm going to go for the only 3 times multiplier at fireworks space. And there is majority scoring for fireworks as well. I should have put a disc up here because I did just make a dress with a master. So let's look at all of this stuff. So this master is... If you have no greens out there, get four money. If you have no reds out there, get five money. If you don't have either, your quid's in. That is absolutely rubbish for me because I have both out. Every two decorations is a point. Leaning towards that. This is any, any blue background you see here is endgame scoring. So every pair of uh, green or blue, every two green or blue that you've got is worth three points. That would be six points right now. Uh, every set of jewellery is worth six points. I haven't got any red yet, so that's a lot easier to do. And there is at least one more green out there ready. Uh, every uh, green and blue dress you've got is worth a point every time you play the card. Every decoration is a point. What have I got right now? I've got four decorations, haven't I? That could be something. Every two apprentices you've got are worth three points. I don't have... I think I've got one apprentice. 
Uh, every two pieces of jewelry is worth three money when you play this. Every two dresses in master spaces gets you three money when you play this. I'm going to go for the jewelry gets your points, master. Then my discs from the tasks come back. Reminds me actually that uh, Madame Dubarry should have two of those tasks completed. And my disc comes back down here and I can start doing the journeyman tasks again. But as I said, I've got one apprentice. It's unlikely I'm going to get to do that before the end. Madame Dubarry is going to hire again. She can't, so she gets three points. Puts her on 19. And that's... Oh no, I've got one more action, haven't I? So I don't want to depute. I can't take the Queen's favour. I could make a dress. It would cost me two. I wouldn't be able to afford any jewellery. It's a bit of a downside. But for competing in, say, this hall... Oh, this is one of the masters. I didn't take. I wonder why that was floating there. Let's make, yeah, pay two money and one of my lace. I need the blue and pink. To make this dress, I'm going to put it over here to compete for this. So it's three to two in this hall. And uh, yeah, no bonus because it's endgame scoring rather than a bonus on there. Only got three out of the six money I need for that piece of jewellery, sadly. But there we go. So that is the round. Income, remember this time, is five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One for every decoration. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then one for every dress. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. So actually, not far off being able to hire my special apprentice. But it's a bit late, isn't it? So it's time to get things ready for round six. Is this? Okay then, so Madame Dubarry's first. It's not looking good for red dresses, by the way. Now, Madame Dubarry needs to get some stuff done. Three, four. What's she doing? She is making something. Fifth one along. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've got all these all the wrong way around, haven't I? All the new ones. So she's... Oh, I've got to count again now. <laughs> five. <laughs> then, where's it going? It is going top right... And she is going to try and get some matching jewellery. So she'll go in the space. She's tying me now. And uh, she can get some matching jewellery. So she will do. And that's going to get her a resource. All the resources have fallen over. Oh, no. Oh, I haven't picked my things yet. So pretend that didn't happen. And pick your cards. I... I would like Masters out. If I pick... Say, for example, if I picked three Masters, I would be going into next round with no Masters. So I don't think that's a good idea. I think it would be a good idea to go into next round with two Masters. So I'm going to keep them there. Having a discount would be great. And getting money would be great. How many people have I got? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I would get 14 money from playing that right now. But having so many people, I unfortunately will not get uh, to, to use her again. So that's what I'm going in with. I'm going to hire because I would like another master. And uh, money is pretty much no object. So I'm paying five to get the full, uh, to get the master there. To pick a hall, two money for every dress in that hall. The other people available. Oh, actually, do I want a master though? Because, so this is uh, for pieces that you've got, I'm assuming. Oh, it's discard any number of resource tiles and get a point depending on which ones you spend. Uh, and then points at the end for having lace and thread left over or every two dresses in thimble spaces. I've got two, three, four in thimble spaces right now. That'd be worth six points at the end of the game. We'll see if it's still out. And Madame Dubarry does prioritize taking uh, cards that are worth endgame points. She just made a dress, didn't she? So she should have had her exam done. She doesn't pay for it. She gets a point for it. Remove any journeyman that's not worth uh, points. And give her a random... Well, there you go. There's random. I haven't even... And then a random card. She will have number six. 
it is oh it's some end game point oh I'm not supposed to know that but it's some end game points it's actually not great for me it would be better if not so the that means the master I think it's a master there is definitely an employee that rewards you based on the number of cards that you've got so something to keep in mind is make sure your first player and make sure you have a master to hire the next round it's uh, I think that needs to be a game plan do I want to hire again, though? I probably should. I'm not going to be able to make anything with a thimble on it, but yeah, I'm going to do, go for that. I'm going to hire again, so that costs me three. And uh, let's get this employee that's worth uh, six points. And it'll be another action for now, won't it? Madame, what you doing? Uh, oh, actually, did we do this? Oh, Madame would have hired that. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. Three points for every pair of these left over. It could be lucrative if I don't spend them. Yeah, I'll take that instead. It's not as many points, but yeah. Uh, so she's going to hire again, so don't have to think about that anymore. We need to make sure she doesn't get that because she's got so many employees. <laughs> so we actually now lean towards hanging on to pairs of uh, lace and thread. And the things that can get you both, that tile there is worth three points just for buying that. So can we make something with a discount? of a pink or a blue. I do have a blue, so I can make this one. It's kind of expensive going all the way up there for it though. What about, come over here and I'm gonna buy a resource. Just thinking this cheap dress over here, if I get myself a green. This is two blues and a green. Yeah, I could just make this one for cheap because I have got one extra thread. Yeah, and then for the action, make it with a discount. I'm just going to use my green. So that doesn't cost me anything. Green and a thread. And then it can't go in a thimble space, but I'm... Yeah, I lean towards having more stuff in here. Because Madame du Barry has majority of the thimble spaces, so would win in a tie. Madame Dubarry's turn, and uh, she's doing a decoration. Uh, it shows you the statues. She's going in the least expensive statue space. So I could actually seal the deal in here. It's a bit... I've got four to two dresses, though. What am I worrying about? Let's do something else. So I, can, I can't make any more dresses anyway. I'm going to get some resources and pay two for it, because this gives me a lace and a thread. Oh, what did I just make? I made a blue. I could have paid six for some jewellery. Uh, let's, let's have done it with this apprentice. Yeah, I'm going to buy that jewellery retrospectively, not get a bonus from it. Because if I did this apprentice first, I would get the money, and then I would have money to buy a really nice decoration. It would be 14 money from having so many apprentices. And so now when it comes to my last action, I've got 24 money. I could buy anything. Actually, no, I can't. 25 to get a statue that's uh, quite lucrative. So I could go for tie break in one of the halls. Like here, for example, now, if no one else goes in this hall, that musician is the tie break. But what's also good, you know, it's, it's three points. Well, in a two-player game, it is zero-sum, isn't it? So three points, you're taking away three points from the other player and getting three points yourself. I think, though, I'm going to just pay 12... And I'm going to fund this firework up here. I don't have many discs left to be able to do anything with. But there is only one more round. Okay, so income. Loads again, isn't it? 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. And every disc that's out here. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Not that one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28. There we go, there is the above 30 money, but I think it's a bit of a waste doing that now. Okay then, so for the final round, what am I going in with? Surely a master. Oh, I've, I've got three masters, I could, I, could buy, I could buy loads of staff. I wouldn't get bonuses from these, I'm, I'm going in with masters. That's my three. Now, I have realised that maybe instead of doing that firework, I should have taken the Queen's favour, because there is the employee 11 points for having so many staff but also this one here for every pair of uh, lady and gentleman that you have uh, hired dresses out to it's two points 
I've got five of each, just kind of accidentally. <laughs> I wasn't going for those pairs. But hey, uh, Madame Dubarry has got first player, and she is hiring the pairs. So, eh, yeah, I've got 11 rather than 10. I could maybe have gotten more from that. Even better if I could have hired both of those. But hey, that's, uh, that's greed talking, isn't it? So we're going to hire. She's uh, knocked the cost of my hiring down a little bit. It's only going to be three. There is an 11-point card coming my way. And I get one back for that master. Madame Dubarry is going to hire again. Ten discount on a decoration. Crazy. I could just hire again. Oh, tempting as it is, because this is free. I might as well do this. And... As kind of my last thing, I could try earning a load of money. Instead of funding decorations, I could just convert three money into points because the end game rate is uh, 10 money is a point. That could be very, very good. Madame Dubarry, now the hiring's gone, it's going to make a dress. So one, two, three, four. It's going to make this a uh, nice, simple one I probably would have liked to do. Uh, where is she putting it? So this could make all the difference. Uh, she is putting it in... Oh, Madam do Barry, why? She's putting it in bottom left. And she's going to try and get some uh, jewellery. There is no ladies jewellery. There are no necklaces out there. And the ladies refuse to wear rings. So, no jewellery for Madam do Barry. Okay then, so what's... What's going to happen? I can... So red is just a bit of a waste, isn't it? Because I think it gets me lace and threads. Is there something I could make kind of easily without using lace or thread? Just that. I can get the thread for it. I know I haven't been putting my things out there if I've been doing the tasks. I'm just not going to do that. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to pay two to get that double green and hope that's still there. Madame Dubarry's last action. Oh, she, she hired, didn't she? One, two, three. Yeah, she hired twice. She should have uh, two more cards. Not a last action at all. Uh, Madame Dubarry is getting resources. The rightmost ones. So, should have waited. I would have got them a bit cheaper. Making a dress. I don't want to use him yet. We'll wait for him. Making a dress. We're making this one. And I can't buy stuff, though. Maybe I should have gone for a different... You know, these need two pinks, and it would have been loads of actions to get those pinks that you needed. And same for blues. Yeah, very expensive. I did have a blue and a red already, though. It cost me three... <gasps> oh, do we, do we change course completely? Maybe that's going to be my last thing, actually. Look at that. It's going to cost six to do. But that's five points, and I can triple that. Ooh. Let's just see. It does cost me two points worth of money and three points of resources there. So it's going to cost me five points, but it's going to earn me more than that. I don't know how to work it out. Instead of having a three and a four up there, I'm going to have a four and a five. That just actually might not be worth that much. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just do this for now. Because we could still do that as the action afterwards. So we've, we've got that in the bag. This one is kind of up for grabs still. And it would be nice to have it without having to go for the really expensive musician. Yeah, I'm going to go there. No bonus because it was my starting master. Uh, fund a decoration. It's going to be the least expensive one over here. It's going to be in the kitchen. Mm. That's a point. It's a bit late to be doing that. And then finally... My last action of the game is, I don't think it's going to be to do a decoration because the points that you would be gained would be far outweighed by this. Do I depute him? I've got so many cards, I could probably depute him and get three more points. Or could I get more than three points for putting that out there? Probably. It's costing me four points, but I think it will gain me. I think it depends. If... Madame Dubarry puts a dress in there, I've lost majority. And so it would have been best to go there. Otherwise, though, it's best to just depute him and get his money and turn it all into points. So what do we do? Do we be a bit more cautious? I don't get 
points for dresses, do I? I think it's just for the resources and stuff. Now, there are no points, I don't think, for these, so I, I, I'm more inclined to just do something with them. So I'm going to pay six. This means no more decorations or anything are getting built. I'm going to pay six to do this. That's a blue and a red at last, and a lace and a thread. Can go in a thimble space. There is not one available, though. I will grab two money. That could be all the difference, couldn't it? It's not going to be in this case, but uh, it's tie breaks and you do still get income at the end of the round and then you turn that every turn into a point. So that is going to be three money as a point. I'm going to spend 30 then and get 10 points. So suddenly the scoreboard looks a little bit more competitive, although, yeah, I think I've got, I'm pretty confident in a win here, but hey. So let's have a look. Decoration for Madame. She's going to do the cheapest decoration, is that? No matter where? Yeah, just going to go for the cheapest musician, which, again, uh, it's, it's over here, but she hasn't got a dress over here, so it makes no difference. So then, end game income, five, seven, nine. What did I, did I put out a man's thing? No, it was a dress, wasn't it, there? And wasn't it something green down here? Yeah, I think it was. I was just thinking, could I have gotten more jewellery? I don't think I could have. Uh, so I get 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 income. End game scoring is 10 money is a point. So there we go. That 30 goes straight back away. And I get three points for it. Then it's... Did you take the Queen's favour? Neither of us did. That would be with three points at the end. And then bonuses for blue employees. So I just have the two, don't I? Oh no, I got this. Oh, I forgot all about that one. So every two green or blue. So that is going to be, I've got two sets of those. So that's going to be six. Then every set of thread and lace is three. I've just got one set. And then I've got way more employees, <laughs> so that's going to be 11. So that'll put me on 35. Majority in the halls, I think pretty much all goes to me. Uh, Madame definitely got majority here to give her four points, but then I've got two uh, and the fireworks, yeah. So Madame gets four. And then I get two, eight... 11, 16, 21. Now that we've done the majority in the halls, we can send our people up to look at the fireworks. So I'm going to do five times three and then uh, four times two. Madame Dubarry, you would do this for her as well so she could get the most points, but she didn't do any fireworks. And then it's statues. So I didn't do any statues. She gets the points for these. So I assume, did she do one of every color? Got pink blue green and then there's one more color isn't there where is it what is it uh, it's red isn't it no, no I, I did one red that's the only red that i think came out for oh i did two reds actually I tell the lie so she gets six points from that and then finally it's just everywhere you've got a marker get the points for that marker so for me that's going to be six did madame dubarry never make it to all the halls Oh, she, she has got presents in all the halls now. By doing that musician, she actually did help herself. She has got something in all of the halls. So my points are 1, 3, 5, 8, 11, 14, 20. 3 times 5 is 15, so 35. 4 times 2 is 8, so 43. 45, 47, 50. 51, 52. 54, nothing. So I spin all the way around to 110. Madame du Barry gets 7, 10, 13, 15, 16, 17, 20, 23, 25, 27, 28. So that puts around 58. Oh, we haven't done jewellery yet. 2, 4, 6, 8 for me and 2 for Madame du Barry. And then she gets a point for every two of these, but I think unless she took like 100 of them, I don't think she's she's got this. So that is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22. So she gets 11 points from those. 
And so there we go. I, th- I think Madame Dubarry played very poorly. Maybe she was letting me win there. Uh, yeah, just didn't make that great decision. I would like to have seen a kind of maybe a hierarchy on her cards, really. That you know, if she's doing if she's doing a thing, it's fair enough to say statue is a uh, jewelry is a priority if she hasn't done that. But it would be great then to say you know has she got has she got fireworks yet? Okay, she takes a fireworks space when she's doing uh, or will having a musician affect majority if it will put a musician there and like in terms of doing the halls do a random one but if she's already got the clear majority there pick another hall something like that would be uh, nice to keep things going because just the, the way the cards went out she just went crazy in this hall and so there was no point in me ever going in there because oh, wait a minute so i'm not in all of the halls did i never go in there i thought i did one in there and then just gave up has something changed? Have I got something wrong all the time? I don't think that affects the cards. Does that change everything? Well, it changes the score a little bit because uh, I lose six points and she gains four points. So there's a bit closer. This is 112 to 75. There is actually a tiny bit more. Sorry for the shaky cam static cameras. The static camera is uh, uploading into my computer right now. Uh, but uh, there, are, there are the blue cards. I assume Madame Dubarry gets these as well. Uh, she has got two for six apprentices. So that is nine more points. And then she gets three points for every pair in thimble spaces. So she's got two, three, four, six. So that would be another nine points. So puts around 93. And then uh, every pair of uh, man and woman. So that's one pair, two pairs, and then three pairs, and then there's all ladies. So that's another six points. So I put around 99, so a bit closer there. But there we go, that is Rococo the Deluxe Edition with its new solo Madame Du Barry mode. If you'd like to know what I think about the whole thing, you can click the link on the screen very shortly or in the description now. If you'd like to help me keep making the playthroughs, you know how to do that. And liking them, subscribing, and telling people about all of this would be great. Or you can go and watch, well, and, there's no or, you could you could do both, surely. <laughs> there are over 400 playthroughs on this channel, and hopefully more of these would intrigue you. Maybe, you know, Glenn Moore from Matthias Kramer. I don't think I've done any of the other games by the Malzes. Uh, Edo is a fantastic game. I haven't done a playthrough of that, but check that out. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching. See you for the next game. Bye, everyone. <laughs>